In the world of finance, understanding the fundamental principles of accounting is essential for any individual or business aiming to navigate the complex realm of financial management. At the core of this knowledge lies the accounting equation, a powerful tool that serves as the foundation for accurate financial reporting and decision-making. Unlock the secret to financial success with Counting Coins, where numbers come alive and accounting game thrives. In this video, let's dive into the fascinating world of accounting and explore the workings of the accounting equation. This fundamental principle serves as the backbone of financial analysis, allowing us to understand how a business's assets, liabilities, and equity come together in perfect harmony. The accounting equation is a simple concept, yet it holds immense importance. It states that the assets owned by a business are equal to the sum of its liabilities and equity. The equation must always balance, without exception. To help illustrate this concept, let's embark on a hypothetical journey into the world of lemon entrepreneurship. Imagine I have a brilliant idea for a lemonade business. I start with $5 in my pocket, which I decide to lend to my business. In accounting terms, the things that the business owns are known as assets, while the things the business owes depend on who the lender is. If the business owes money to third parties, we refer to it as liabilities. However, if the business owes money to the owner, which in this case is me, it's called equity. Therefore, we can summarize the accounting equation as assets equals liabilities plus equity. It's as simple as that. In our example, the $5 in cash that my lemonade business possesses is considered an asset, and the $5 that the business owes me is classified as equity. As you can see, the equation remains perfectly balanced. Now, let's delve into the composition of assets, liabilities, and equity. Assets encompass a wide range of items, including cash, accounts receivable, inventory, plant property and equipment, land and buildings, investments, and even goodwill. On the other hand, liabilities consist of accounts payable, loans payable, wages payable, taxes payable, and other similar obligations. Equity primarily takes the form of stockholders or owner's equity, along with retained earnings. Retained earnings, which we'll explore in more detail in a future lesson, can be understood as profit held for future use. By assigning totals to the categories mentioned above, we can see that the equation always maintains its balance. It's a fascinating system that keeps everything in check. If you've liked the video so far, please give it a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you would like us to cover next. Now back to the video. Let's now shift our attention to the balance sheet, one of the most vital financial statements in understanding a business's financial position. Acting as a snapshot of a company's assets, liabilities, and equity at a specific point in time, the balance sheet provides valuable insights. By analyzing this statement, we can gain a wealth of information about the health and performance of a business. To reinforce our understanding, let's explore a couple of examples within the framework of the accounting equation. Imagine I visit a shop and spend $5 on lemon, converting my cash into inventory. Although the categories have changed, the total assets remain the same, ensuring that my balance sheet remains balanced. Next, I need to extract juice from this lemon, but I don't have enough funds to purchase a lemon squeezer. So, I approach a friend and borrow $10. As a result, the business's cash increases by $10, and the loans payable also increase by $10. Consequently, the total assets and the sum of liabilities plus equity both amount to $15, preserving the equation's balance. Continuing our journey, I proceed to spend $10 on a lemon squeezer, reducing my cash by the same amount and increasing my equipment by $10. Let's assume I sell the first batch of lemonade at a 60% markup on cost, generating $8 in sales. Although I no longer possess any inventory, my cash balance increases by $8, resulting in a small profit of $3. This profit arises from subtracting the cost of lemon, which was $5 from the sales revenue of $8. Therefore, my retained earnings increase by $3, representing the profit set aside for future use. Consequently, my total assets have now grown from $15 to 
In summary, we have learned that a business assets are equal to its liabilities plus equity, forming the foundation of the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Always remember, this equation is designed to maintain perfect balance. The expanded accounting equation serves as the basis of a balance sheet, providing a snapshot of a business assets, liabilities, and equity at a specific moment in time. And that's a wrap for our first episode of Counting Coins. We hope you found this explanation of the accounting equation insightful and engaging. Remember, understanding the balance between the business's assets, liabilities, and equity is crucial in maintaining accurate financial records. Stay tuned for more videos on accounting basics. And if you have any suggestions for future topics, don't forget to comment below with your thoughts, questions, and accounting victories. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So I'll see you in the next episode of Counting Coins. Happy accounting!